Well, it seems Governor Rick Perry would have a big problem courting the Hispanic vote if he makes a bid for the White House. Joining us live now to talk about this potential problem is political insider Jim McGrath and LULAC's Luis Vera. Uh, Luis, first to you, uh, President George W. Bush had considerable support from Hispanic voters. Why wouldn't Rick Perry be able to win there as well? You know, that's the problem. Rick Perry is no George Bush. Rick Perry's biggest problem is during the last uh, election, he promised the Latinos there would be nothing that resembled SB 1070 come out of Arizona. But as soon as he the legislative session started, he started immediately implementing SB 1070 type legislation. And it looks like he encouraged several representatives to file them also. We had 26 anti-immigrant bills that were filed this session after Rick Perry said he would not support anything like that. So uh, I think that's his biggest problem. He just, he's wearing two faces depending on which campaign he's in. Jim McGrath, if he decides to run for the White House, what is Rick Perry going to have to do to capture the hearts and the votes of Hispanic voters? Well, it's the first the first fact is that you know the Hispanic voting uh, blocks are, are not single issue voters. A lot of them are going to focus on illegal immigration and the position of the Republican Party leaders like Rick Perry on that issue, and that will determine the voting behavior of some of that block. But Rick Perry went into the meeting last week with national Hispanic elected officials in San Antonio with a positive message about what. Republican leadership has been able to do on an issue that is far more important to the vast majority, I would assume, of Hispanic voters here in the United States that can vote legally, and that is the economy. If you don't have a job, if you can't pay for your family to eat, to be educated, to take care of the life's necessities, that's going to be a driving issue for you. So I think Rick Perry went in with the best message he could convey in San Antonio last week. What do you think about that, Luis? You know, I was there. It was a total embarrassment for Rick Perry. He had never at one time more than a dozen people uh, stand up and even clap for what he said. A number of people walked out. Others just literally gave him his back. And at the end of his speech, not a single person with more than a dozen even clapped or stood up. It was very embarrassing. I think the nationwide papers even played to that. Right. And then top that off, even with the House Speaker Strauss, who came back on a totally different issue and said that what Governor Perry is doing was nothing more than a publicity stunt in regards to this last-minute push on a bill dealing with the airport pat-down. So that's what we get. We get all these publicity stunts, all these wedge issues that are put together uh, by Rick Perry for no other reason but but uh, you know push for his base and All I right. understand that in politics but that's not going to fly in the general election. All right, thanks very much for talking with us, both of you this morning. Political insider Jim McGrath and Lulax Luis Vera.